right, welcome to the book of Exodus. Um, man, I love the book of Exodus. In fact, uh, as you study through the book of Exodus and then begin to see it in relation to the rest of the Bible, begin to understand that it's crucial that we understand the book of Exodus, that we understand not just the events of the book of Exodus, but the significance of it. Because understanding the book of Exodus is foundational to understanding God's redemptive plan. Uh, understanding what's happening in the book of Exodus is crucial or essential to really even understanding the work of Christ uh, on the cross for us. And so a couple things to cover. One, the, the book of Exodus was written by Moses. Uh, covers approximately 81 years because he goes back to his life when he, when he was born. And then he, it covers all the way up to the tabernacle in chapter 40. So about 81 years is covered in the book of Exodus. Uh, we don't know exactly what year uh, that he wrote it, but we do know that it, it comes after the Exodus, after the events that happen even on Mount Sinai and as they travel, and that he writes it before he dies. And so there's about a 40-year window in which Moses would have written uh, the book of Exodus. Uh, and so it teaches us a lot about God, uh, teaches us how uh, we are to relate to the Lord and how he relates to us. The book of Exodus teaches us that, like it, for instance, Exodus chapter six, God says, I am the Lord and I will bring you out from the forced labor of the Egyptians and rescue you from slavery to them. I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and great acts of judgment. I will take you as my people and I will be your God and you will know that I am the Lord your God who brought you out from the forced labor of the Egyptians. I will bring you to the land that I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and I will give it to you as a possession. I am the Lord. So in the book of Exodus, God reveals himself as the one true God. It teaches us that he frees us from bondage, but not just so that we can be free from bondage, but he frees Israel so they can then serve him. Uh, and that holds true for us today, even in Christ. We've been freed from our sins so that we can now be uh, followers of Christ, servants of Christ. And so um, the events of Exodus reveal God's power to us, um, his, his sovereignty or his providence over all things. It reveals to us uh, that he is a God who provides for us. Uh, it shows us that he is a deliverer and that his redeeming work of pulling Israel out of Egypt is because he is faithful, that he's keeping his covenant. In fact, uh, one of the reasons that our sermon series through the book of the Bible is entitled Faithful and True is because all throughout the scope of Scripture, God continues to be faithful to what He has promised, that we can trust that what He has said is true. Uh, and so as you read through the book of Exodus, there are uh, some things to take note of. One, uh, how many times God's name is mentioned. Uh, just how, how in the book of Exodus, He is establishing Himself as Yahweh, the one true God to the people of Israel, and how His actions, uh, second thing, how God's actions are tied to his previous promises, that what he's doing is because of what he said he was going to do, uh, and then how often God's commands of obedience come after he tells them that they belong to him, and they come after his saving work. He redeems them and says, hey, you're my people. I, I've freed you. Now you follow me, and that same thing is true for us. We are saved to follow. We don't follow him in hopes that he will save us. And then also another thing to take note of as you read through the book of Exodus is how central God's redemptive work of freeing Israel from Egypt is to the rest of the Bible, and in particular, we would call the gospel message. Uh, what happens in the book of Exodus is continually remembered and referenced through the rest of the Bible, even into the teachings of Christ, uh, and even as Paul explains our understanding of who Jesus is in his writings. And so understanding the purpose and the message of Exodus will help you to better understand really everything else that you're going to read this year in the Bible. Uh, the greater our understanding of what happens on the night of the Passover in the book of Exodus, the better we will then understand what Christ has done for us, and, and the better we can also learn how we are to relate to the Lord and what he has done for us. So I'm excited uh, as you spend a couple weeks in the book of Exodus and look forward uh, to what God is going to teach us as a church, but also how he's gonna work in your life. If you have more questions, then join us in our sermon series uh, as we work through the book of Exodus in two parts. Um, and I hope God blesses you the same way he has blessed me in studying and preparing for this.